everyone. Thanks for taking the time to read the post. We hope that you found it quite useful. Uh, it does go to show that there's some significant benefits in using rubber dam in kids. The main issue you may find is that you might struggle with the idea of how is a child actually going to be able to tolerate a rubber dam. Once you've used it a couple of times, you might actually find that it is actually very acceptable by kids. Most of the time, in particular, when you're using um, rubber dam, you'll be doing a restoration, which means you'll actually have local anaesthetic. So my first bit of advice would be put some local anaesthetic in the interproximal regions, so that way you can also get some around the palatal or lingual, and then you'll find that the rubber dam is really well tolerated. For those children that you're deciding not to use local anaesthetic for, or even those that you have got them, the suggestion would be that you explain to them in several steps about exactly what you're going to do. Kids are usually pretty switched on, and if you can explain to them that by doing this, you're going to improve the chance that what you're doing to their tooth to fix the hole will actually last a lot longer and be so much better for them. When you then explain about how it works, you can explain in multiple different types of language. I would use the terminology of a raincoat and just actually get their finger and put the raincoat over it and show them how it looks and most of the kids will find that quite good. You then explain that when you put the raincoat on, we've got to put a little peg on your tooth that's going to feel pretty squeezy. However, it's just a hug and you just need to have it feel a bit tight for about 10 seconds and then it will feel much better. Generally speaking then, what we'll do is we'll put the rubber dam clamp on and we will slowly count to 10. And the way in which you may decide to count, particularly if you've got a child that's beginning to lose it a little bit, is actually employ some distraction. So for example, you might say, one, two, did you know today's the 2nd of December? I think Santa's coming soon, is he? Have you written your lists? Three, four, you're four. I wonder, are you turning five soon? Okay, right, and then so on and so forth up to 10. What you'll commonly find is that most of the kids, by the time you get to 10, are more than accepting of that little bit of pressure that they're feeling, and you can find that you'll get the rubber dam on much easier. I promise you, once you've used it a couple of times, you'll see how much easier it's gonna make feelings for you, and you'll actually make some variations to what your behavior management technique will be to enable you to use it for different children depending on their personalities. I hope that this has been of some assistance for you. We would love to actually have some videos with real life patients, but as you can no doubt gather, sometimes consent can be a bit of an issue. If we do get some in future, we'll promise that we'll put them up so that way you can see what we do in our practice. Thanks a lot.